What up, K-Swiss? Welcome back to week 12 of the Inside K-Swiss wow. podcast. 12 weeks, wow. Barney. Amazing doing we it. made it this far, <laughs> still doing it. Hitting Pump, it Pumping strong. it out every week. Look how pro Barney looks right now. He's wearing a blazer. I've worn a blazer today. Um, I've tried to decided to act my age for look, one day at least. And uh, I actually had it in my office because I had to bust it out a couple times this week with some formal events. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I feel very comfortable in it. Someone had to look pro. I was looking semi homeless. <laughs> I mean, look what I'm wearing. <laughs> I love that jacket. That, that really, uh, really nice. It's a Forever 21 collaboration jacket. So if you go to Forever 21, the ones that are still open, RIP, um, <laughs> you'll be able to cop one for the Christmas season. Great. What but have we got so this week on Inside K Swiss, we want to talk about the next release that we're gonna do for the for this year. It's a little kids and big kids she release. We're gonna do a giveaway for a very exclusive Monopoly K Swiss sneaker that is not available in the U.S. And we're gonna talk about Batman. Excellent. So. Uh, let's start. Well, Batman actually released and is pretty much sold out, I believe. That was a, I loved that. I thought the execution on the product was fantastic. Yep. The Batman um, 8 1989 sneakers yep. sold out. The Robin canvas shoes almost sold out. And the Batman suede on the classic 66 is almost sold out. So Yeah, the Robin one was a real hit. I think it's just based on the colors and the look and... Um, really really nice in fact i if you look at my instagram i did a batman and robin one on each thing i think that's the best way to do it but that's me being uh did you say left biased. or right on the caption no no i didn't because i'm not as corny as you on instagram what uh, that's how you get more <laughs> comments you let people choose <laughs> yeah, that's why you're the social expert and i don't have any followers oh shoot but batman was great and i think we've sort of hit a really nice cadence of special product we, you know we focused on that this year is you know, um, you know, the world moves at the speed of social media these days, and that engine that everybody is following is really fast moving, constantly updated, and we're in this culture of what have you done for me lately. Yeah. Um, the old model was seasonal product drops. So you drop product spring, summer, fall, winter, you'd sort of peak twice in the year in terms of putting all your new stuff out. That was the old rhythm of, of uh, the fashion industry and the sneaker industry. And now it's a drop culture. So now yep. it's just bang, 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 bang. Everybody's what do, you, what do you drop in this month? Exactly. So, or even this week. Yep. Um, you know, some of the big brands are dropping things every day. So, uh, and that's because, you know, Instagram is fueling this and you have to have new things. You can't just put the same thing on your Instagram every day for um, f six months. So uh, I think we've done a nice job of retweaking our approach based on how the... Um, consumer is mm -hmm. operating and how culture is operating and the worst thing you can do is get stuck in your old ways whilst the culture moves on yes and uh i think i would say the team here has done a really good job of kind of moving with the times and staying fluid and adjusting and so you see all these drops we're doing and there's there's a rationale behind it number one it's i think it's great storytelling number two it's sort of feeding the machine of how everybody's consuming brand content these days, which is almost like TV. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think our proximity to Hollywood, the fact that we're an LA brand, and we're in fact really the only LA brand in the sneaker business that's in the city, we're right next to Hollywood. So why not leverage our position and make friends with our neighbors? And we've done that and successfully partnered with a lot of the studios to bring you things like Breaking Bad, Batman. And Clueless, Ghostbusters. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, I was one. even going to say Angry Birds, but then I remembered Ang Angry Birds is actually Finnish based, right? Yeah. Based in Finland. Shout out to our own Santi Heinonen, <laughs> our own fin Finnish uh, art director. This shoe is actually designed after Santi. Tell me this, uh, the red bird doesn't look like Santi. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like the red representing his general <laughs> anger at all times. <laughs> oh, man. But these are super cute. These are... <laughs> Oh, that's a little too close to home. Oh. Santi, we love you. These are the new Angry Birds sneakers, m most only for kids. Yep, it's uh, little kids, big kids. So basically women with that can fit into the young, the little kid sizes. That's will. true. These are actually really small kids, but we do do them up to 
juniors which some women can fit into and these are really great color blocks as you can see on this model that has all the colors of the different angry birds characters because if you remember that game um they had the, they had the different birds that had different powers as yep you know. yeah I'm excited about the sneaky release. I was working on the copy and I started watching some of the clips from the movie. Have you ever seen the Angry Bird movie? No, no. It's hilarious. I haven't watched it, but I was actually cracking up at like the jokes that they were saying and how the birds like represent certain things. And so some of the quotes cracked me up. I'm pumped to put the social out. You'll first see it on Friday. Yeah, because you've got some really good um, social assets to use on this one, right? Yeah, it's kind of cool. You'll see a bunch of the birds wearing the K-Swiss sneakers. And um, and then next week, we're doing an activation. So next Saturday, if you're in L.A., I'm not exactly sure the location. We'll put it up on Facebook and Instagram stories. But we're doing an activation. The birds are going to be there. So bring your kids. It's in L.A. It's in Hollywood. I think it might be on Sunset. Sunset and Sepulveda? Yeah. Some, but something like check that. our Instagram and our socials, and you, we'll give you the, the actual details on exactly where that's going to be. Um, if you have a little, and a little kid, com, of, of course, that is super stylish, and you want to win a pair of these little guys, hopefully we don't sell out, so I don't I'm promise you something I can't give. Um, and it is the 10-year anniversary of Angry Birds, which is the reason we're doing this who um, didn't play angry birds that's what blows my mind right. like if you had a any sort of smartphone you were playing angry birds at one point right exactly and 10 years ago that's how that's how fast things are moving and to celebrate we have this beautiful collection of kids shoes caseswiss.com and what else oh we had a busy week this week with <laughs> yeah. visitors you had a busy week in the studio with uh with some new signings to the K-Swiss tennis family. It's been an exciting week actually for us here. We we created, uh, actually Mike Miringoff, our head of tennis, created Tennis Week. Shout out Mike. Yeah, and he's been crushing it with our tennis business. In fact, K-Swiss tennis went from number six in the US market share to number two in about 18 months, maybe two years. It's been an incredible rise of our tennis business. It's really due to Mike Miringoff and our tennis designer, MJ Kim, who've just been revolutionizing our product line in tennis our, our stuff's got more colorful faster lighter better and attracted a whole new audience we've got the number one selling we had the number one selling uh tennis shoe um for the year called the hypercord express and we like i said we've gone up our, we've had double digit growth for the last three years in our tennis business and we're now the number two tennis brand pretty amazing um, growth, uh, kind of unheard of growth, to be honest. And uh, no one's grown as fast as Case Swiss in tennis. So a, a hell of an effort by that by those guys. I was really stoked to get some of the athletes that we just recently signed. So we had two come into the office. We had Cameron Nori, who I think is ranked like 50. 50 52, I think. British uh, tennis player. Yeah. Um, and uh, the accent both of you guys talking I was well lost. also yeah he's born in new zealand i believe so mm -hmm. um was it new zealand yeah he was yeah, born he's from new zealand so but he lives in england born in south africa lived in new zealand and then at 13 moved to london specifically right. to play tennis like his whole life has basically been yeah becoming and a you pro. can hear about him on our podcast because you interviewed him yes. um and yeah, he's a really good tennis player, hyper competitive guy. Mm -hmm. He's head to toe K Swiss for starting into next season. So Australian Open, you'll see him in K Swiss. Really exciting to have him on the squad. And then also Anya Tomjanovic. Yeah, Isla. Isla. Isla Tomjanovic. What did I say? I said Isla. Yes, you did. <laughs> um, Isla Tomjanovic. She is super badass. She's from Australia. Lives in Florida. Croatian born. Croatian born, and she is ranked 56th in the world. I know we're ruining it because I'm sure she's higher than that. She's 53, I think. One's 53. 52, one's 53. In the world. Like, that's insane. And when yeah. I was talking to them, going and talking about tennis and how competitive it is and one on one sport, think of how many people play tennis. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's interesting that these guys, both Cameron um, and Isla. Uh, thank you. Uh, both Cameron and Isla were both knew at the early age they were going to be world tennis players. It's yeah, like when I was talking to them, and you'll listen to the podcast on Turning Pro, when I asked them, like, well, what does it take or how did you become pro or when did you know, both of them were like, 
I've always known. Like that's the only thing that I knew I was going to do. And their whole entire life was revolved around tennis. And what I loved about hearing their stories is what made them progress as much as they did is they had the right group of people, family, supporting them and helping them get to where they are now. But it's a real grind on that circuit. They travel 10 months of the year. They're traveling around the world. It's kind of like a rhythm of where you go and when based on the tournament flow. Mm -hmm. Um, And so these are really hardworking people and uh, we're so excited to have them on the team. I think it's really good because Case Swiss is a tennis brand, was a tennis brand, always will be a tennis brand. And as much as we're doing some really fun things right now, whether it be Gary V, whether it be Angry Birds or Batman or all the kind of cool stuff we have going on is we're also reinforcing the base and the foundation of our brand, which is tennis. So, yeah. you know, by by really starting to build this team of pro tennis players who are like legit tour professionals, uh, we're reinforcing the base core of the brand at the same time that we're pushing the envelope with new stuff. So that, that kind of, um, you know, top and bottom uh, of the of the brand is i think really strong and i'm i'm, I'm psyched to have it yep. and i think the team's done a great job in britain uh, first of all scouting and identifying these guys you know mike and the team have been watching uh uh cameron for for many years before actually getting a chance to sign him so uh we're expecting great things from our tennis team and i think more to come and yeah like i said check out the podcast to hear interviews with them and we had them in, we, we did the signing, we had a whole company meeting, everybody came together and listened to, to a Q&A with the athletes. We gave away some tennis shoes. Um, Barney won and actually, I don't know who said that you couldn't win. I thought that was kind of hilarious. I actually, the name Cameron, <laughs> who's my new buddy, pulled my name out of the hat to win the free pair of case was tennis shoes. And everybody basically said, that's not fair and, and, and redrew. What I thought was hilarious is everyone that sat shoes. in the front row won. Yeah, that's the benefit of sitting in the front row. You know, that's what I always say. Like, act Scam. like you want to be there. Touche. <laughs> Don't be the one sitting at the back just trying to slide out halfway through. I, um, what I loved about having them in the office is with K-Swiss and HQ, everyone is so busy, heads down, working all the time, accounting, design, social media. Everyone's doing their thing. So to like kind of take a break and actually see why we're building what we're building yeah. and for the people, that was really cool for me. And hopefully it was for the whole team because it kind of puts a little bit of perspective in what you do for the company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's great. It's been a great week and uh, it's not over yet. And the other thing, so, so one other thing that I did is this actually is a pair of shoes. Some of you have asked about this and this is a this is, might be the only pair of these shoes in the country. These were gifted to me by my friends in Mexico. Uh, shout out to Jose and to Elias from our, who run our K-Swiss business in Mexico, do a hell of a job. They've been partners of ours for 20 years, uh, more than 20 years running our business down there in Mexico. And they created this great collaboration with Monopoly. It's Mexico only. It's the um, 85th anniversary 85th anniversary of, of the game we all know and love and i will give you a sneak peek here of the shoe it's actually based on the uh, donovan silhouette i'm not sure if i'm getting that well enough and you can see that the it has a lot of l- nice details on here including the uh the laces limited edition gold hints on the tongue on the heel tab has the monopoly m times k swiss or x k swiss what's the what's the guy's name the character i know we should know this shouldn't we mr money mr money bags or something money bags i love the design on the side it's the monopoly guy (laughs) with a bag of money money bags with uh some dollar bills coming out and then also what's really cool is the the shield on the side is very similar to the startup if you look at how minimal the the toe box is and the whole design of the shoe it's very similar to the startup yeah so these are these are a size us 10 men's us 10 and from my own private stash i'm going to be giving these away to a lucky winner so add your comments maybe actually tell us who this guy what this guy's yeah. name is obviously we should know that and uh we'll tell us something about your experience with monopoly we'll pick somebody to win this one of one us uh, version. How should we? How should we shoes. do it? Should I post a picture on 
Instagram and have them yeah, share do it. That, do that. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna post a photo of the shoes on Instagram, and I want you guys to leave a comment. Um, what was it? A, a Monopoly experience? Exactly. Something about Monopoly. You'll figure it out and put it on Instagram later. So go check and you can be the first in line to enter to win that one of one uh, pair. I do want to say something else about the Mexico collaboration. And we talked about this briefly right before the podcast. A lot of people have been asking, um, why can't I get shoes in Australia or in Germany? Or why are the Monopoly shoes only in Mexico? And I mean, as we continue to grow, we're definitely expanding our reach and our doors. And hopefully um, to the viewers, the more that we know that you guys want these collaboration or exactly. certain style of sneakers, um, we're definitely doing what we can. For example, the Gary V sneakers. A lot of people in Mexico were wondering like, when are we gonna get those? And they're not available in Mexico unless you buy them like on StockX or eBay or something like that. So hopefully, um, the more that we grow our audience and community and we know where you guys are at, this will give you guys an opportunity to yeah, get these sneakers. Exactly. And we've got to do a better job, I think, of making sure all our, these great projects get out to all the region. Some of them do, some of them don't. And I, we actually had a meeting this very morning in this office about that. Um, how do we make sure we get all countries involved in these special projects? So we hear you and we will be working hard to, to solve that problem. Next week we are having a sale it's green monday is that what it's called green week green monday green friday never heard of it i found out about it no joke like half an hour ago <laughs> from marcellus who does our e-com stuff to be fair he may have made it up well if he did make it up that's a great name so thanks yeah. for making it up but we are doing i think it's going to be a um, our website's going to have a discount for specific styles and we're going to have a gift with purchase which is what I'm wearing. All it's right. a K-Swiss beanie. It's actually going to be navy. It's not gray. This is one on one of one. I like the gray. I have to give it back because it's the only sample oh, they have. Oh, they're going to want that back after it's been on your noggin. I've been wearing it all day on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you know what? You keep it. It smells like Omar now. <laughs> so the uh, any, any purchase on kswiss.com gets the hat? I believe so. It's going to be a gift with purchase. And as long um, I... If I'm not mistaken, whatever you buy, it'll automatically be. We added are full of information part. this this week. Very aren't we? questionable information. <laughs> <laughs> so well prepared. Uh, no, we're good. Gift with purchase next week. Angry Bird sneakers coming out. Batman sneakers almost sold out. Monopoly shoe giveaway. Yeah. Professional athletes in the building. What an episode. We've had a lot of stuff. Windows this week. are clean. Because oh I'm, my yeah. God, that's right. Yeah, that's what I did this, this, morning, this morning. I don't know what was up with Barney, but I think he had like five espressos before <laughs> 9 a.m. Because when I showed up, he was just so energetic. He's like, "Yo, we're doing this podcast. Let's do I was it now." Indexing the uh, glass and all of our uh, and all of our windows, and I'd started to OCD kicked in, and I was looking for things to clean. Yeah, there's so on our windows, it lets you know what each room is so for example right now we're in the k-swiss radio room which obviously we do the the radio and podcast episodes and um the logos that we're changing out barney went out and changed two of them and they look great and then he right, tasks because me the truth <laughs> is i've been asking about when are they going to be put up for about a week and this morning i'm like i'm just doing it myself the sign of a real leader he's like, yeah if you want a job done properly just do it Right. And don't get me to put any window decals because. Right. He put it on the wrong side, back to front. And don't have me do it either because if you actually go look, there's a lot of bubbles. <laughs> so it was a total disaster. But the windows are really clean. If ever you come to our office, you will visit the K Swiss War Room, K Swiss Radio, K Swiss shoe Digital, box. the Shoebox, the Meat Locker. All of our rooms have some personality now. So some of you will recognize these names as we say them. Some of you can get to know them if you ever come to LA hit us up we take visitors here you can come tour come meet us jump on the pod whatever uh, we're pretty bring some pretty, pretty premium open. IPAs yes bring <laughs> premium IPAs ingratiate yourselves um, but yeah no we are we do quite often have people come through and we love to host so anytime yes all right let's get back to work all right thank you guys please um, share this episode with a friend or leave us a comment we love it our view our listens have gone up 
So we know you guys are listening. Thank every you so Thursday, much. Every Thursday, we'll be here. Let you know every what's going Thursday, on. Every Thursday, this will go up tomorrow on Friday. Mondays, we have CEOs wear sneakers. Wednesday, we have Turning Pro, and Friday, we have Inside K Swiss. Excellent. Peace. See you on the next one.